Are you stabbing it? <laughs> Here we go, boys and girls. I'm Nick, I play guitar in Citizen. I'm Jake, I play drums in Citizen. You're watching Under the Gun TV. Alright, so let's talk 2013. It's probably a big, big year for you guys. Yeah. What were some of the best parts of last year? I tacked on the second half after they had done the story tour, which was really big for them, and Warp Tour. But um, I did the Polar Bear Club tour, and that was just a great time with a lot of like really cool bands, cool diversity, yeah. and stuff. I think like, that. like even though we did, you know, Warp Tour and like the Story So Far tour, um, which were both like huge. Um, I think the Polar Bear Club tour was, it was in like smaller rooms, so it was a little more of our element, um, and that was like one of my favorite tours we've ever done. You guys are like planning on recording anything new, you know, EP or new album or anything. You have any plans yet? Or? Um, we have some stuff in the works, not necessarily uh, put together yet, but we're working on um, some new music. So um, over the next year or so. Um, like as a whole, it's kind of more like relaxed than mm -hmm. you know, some of your previous. I'm sure you guys hear that a lot. Yeah. Is that kind of just like a one-off thing? You guys plan on moving more towards that? Like I want to say indie, but it was just like about that time we just were feeling to, it wasn't even like a, a calculated decision, just it's kind of just what we ended up writing. And uh, I think lyrically, things were a lot darker than, than previously. So it just kind of worked out that way. So I can't really say if it's like a one-off thing or like whatever, it's just kind of whatever we're, whatever we're feeling at yeah, the time. No matter what, it's the same people that write that music. So whether you write any sort of thing, it still will have that imprint on it. And so I think all bands should like do what feels natural at that time and then the rest will follow. Like it will still be a citizen record or whoever else's record as long as it's, you know, those same people under like the same, you know, vibes and ambitions and stuff. Yeah. Right. All right, so you guys just you recently wrapped up that tour with Wonder Years, Fireworks, uh, yes. Modern Baseball. And Real friends. friends. And uh, it was a great time, great shows. Um, you were kind of the black sheep on the tour, obviously, you know? <laughs> Sort of, of right? Yeah, it was going to be leveled out by Defeater originally, and then yeah, yeah. for whatever reason, they got swapped out with Fireworks, but that was still great because I'm from Detroit personally, and we've been friends for a long time, and, you know, Citizen is great friends with Fireworks anyway, so it was just super comfortable. I don't know the Defeater guys, and I'm sure they're really nice, but, like, personally, I'm, like, super happy that it turned out to be that way just because they're such great friends and even greater friends now after that tour. Mm -hmm. So, like, speaking of crowds, you guys started off kind of in, like, smaller venues, obviously, like, you know, floors and clubs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, you guys have moved to, like, the national scale lately. Like, is there anything, like, jarring about that? Like, do you ever just feel like, wow, like, I'm in a huge band now? It's definitely a little surreal. Like, I've been in the shit for, like, my whole life, basically playing a lot of, like, smaller shows and stuff. So, to be playing these larger shows, you go so fast and you're so busy that sometimes you don't really realize it and think about it and a show is a show when it's all said and done but when you stop and take a step back and even we had like on the show at the electric factory which was sold out at like 2500 people and it, it truly is wild and something i never thought i'd be a part of so i feel fortunate it's yeah cool. it's just it's crazy like even um in the fall we played like you know for 75 people in salt lake city um and then playing for uh you know, 2,500 or whatever in Philly or like playing Best Buy Theater in New York um, and all these shows being like sold out, which like is not due to us, but we're like us being able to play for that many people is just, it's crazy. The Best Buy Theater in New York City Best Buy Theater is actually, yeah. it's right in Times Square and it's a, it's a 2,100, maybe 2,200, yeah. but it's treated like an arena the way it's set up and there's like you like walk in and go and down these rooms, escalators and, and that truly insane. feels um like something i could show my mom or something and actually like, get her excited about and so like that was actually really wild that felt what pretty there's like pretty a difference crazy. to shows that i want like all my friends to come to and like go nuts and then like shows that i'm like mom dad like come chill like on stage and then like in the green room like there's a shower in there if you want to shower for if you need to shower if you need grab to this, shower grab this bag of doritos and hit the showers <laughs> we just do it for the parents with the when doritos, it's all said true. and done yes with the doritos. Course. when you guys were approaching the venue did you see like citizen up on the marquee in times square they there it's was like actually a digital thing I, we were on yeah, there there was a digital thing i don't know if our name was it was dude okay our name it was on there <laughs> our name was it there it was on there dude our name was there but there was also uh the wonder years music video playing on this marquee yeah that was very like in, trl -y feeling <laughs> yeah seriously it was like trl it was like right in the middle of times square just like soupy's face 
Nick Steinborn's face just fucking Yikes. huge. <laughs> New York was like, even the Wonder Years, like, when I think of the Wonder Years, I think of, like, the band that put out The Upsides and were playing these, like, small venues and people were just, like, going insane. And the shows are more insane than those small sets in these, like, crazy-sized venues. But it's in these, like, you know, almost 3,000-cap venues. And it made me realize how big they are because I didn't even, like, realize how big the Wonder Years were until, like, that point. I was, like... Wow, this is like a this is like a real band. Like this is crazy. Yeah, a little more than a punk rock tour. Yeah. So like, when you're in like middle school or high school or whatever, you're growing up. All your friends like, did they take you seriously when you were? Fuck no. Dude, Nick and I had <laughs> talked about it. We're both like very like nice, modest boys, but there are some people, and like maybe teachers and stuff from high school that used to give me and I'm sure Nick no, just don't. shit and just treat you like a goof and your band sucked. My band sucked in high school and that's like fine but the ambition was still the same and maybe they didn't recognize that but you could never I would never go tell somebody to fuck off and like show my credentials now but sometimes I, I sit and reflect a little bit and it feels nice. I, uh, I feel accomplished. I quit marching band because Citizen had too many shows um on like the weekends and like every Friday I had to go to like the football games. So I quit marching band and our director was like, you're gonna quit marching band like for that band. Like you, re and he was, he said, he was like, you realize it's probably not gonna go anywhere. And I was like, okay, like I definitely wanna quit now. Like you sold me 100%, I wanna quit now cause you're an asshole. And, um, I don't know. Maybe this is enough for him. Maybe maybe we'll show him a little a little set from the Wonder Years tour. We'll say we we'll say we brought all the Toledo. I it's think it's what the plan's gonna be. We'll say we brought the the twenty four hundred kids in uh, Philly. Yeah, we might you know <laughs> embellish the story a little bit, but we're gonna show those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's good. Nick's come a long way. For the first time this summer, he's going to get on an airplane, and it's going to be like an eight-hour flight to the U.K., and he's extremely scared. I'm going to kill myself. I don't think marching band, I don't think marching band can bring him that. <laughs> is that the first time that you guys are going to the U.K. together? Yeah, yes. it is, yeah. So what's the plans for that? Eat a deep-fried candy bar. Yeah. Eat a deep-fried candy yes. bar, it's for sure. America, what's that? Yeah, that's true. We yeah, can, it's like we can like, do that in our kitchen. But Come on. It's like, authentic we're not gonna... over there. Get a nice deep fried Mars bar or something. Um, we're heading over there with uh, Diamond Youth and Headroom from the UK. And yeah, it's going to be cool. I don't know. Small shows or big shows? Really small, small shows. Clubs. In fact, like some of the smallest rooms we've ever played. It's going to be awesome. There, just, I know yeah, that's so awesome. There's like an 80 cap venue on yeah. the tour. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it's going to be cool. We yeah. like specifically requested uh obnoxiously small rooms yeah it's so awesome that one gave us our was incredible and the rooms were huge and they were filled which is so much more than any of us could ever dream of or ask for but um you you always miss this the small shows it's it's you know there's always gonna be energy at the shows but there's really nothing like it as far as that goes is that really your first time ever getting on an airplane it is it's actually me my brother eric up there, you showed him earlier. Show him again. What's up, Eric? Uh, and Ryland, our other guitarist. We all have never been on a plane before. A bunch of hillbillies. Uh, Is you scared or you just haven't left the country? I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. They're not. They're scared. okay. They're they are like looking forward to it. I think that's crazy because Nick doesn't even get on roller coasters. I'm dreading anything. it. I have I literally have nightmares about being on a plane. So we'll see. I'll be fine. He's my gonna, friend. We my friend decided. texted me the other day and told me that. They just, and uh, Danny from Turnover, they just flew over there and he said that it felt like being in a car, like it was so smooth. Um, so I trust him. He's going to sit next to me and we're going to drink a little cran apple and we'll keep it. It'll be relaxed. It'll be what chill. What are you going to do in like a year or two when they ask you to come play Soundwave and you had to fly a million hours in a plane? Believe me, the thought has crossed my mind. Uh, it freaks me out so fucking much. Eric's taking pictures of me up there. We'll get him some melatonin. in. He'll be good. Yeah, that's making me. That's making me wanna. Uh, that's well. See? And pictures of Jake too. Sick, Eric. 
Well, anyway. Oh, dude, delete that. <laughs> anyway, Soundwave, um, I would be really terrified. I would be extremely scared. But, but we'd have to go because that's fucking cool. We'd have to do it. Everybody tells me about a Soundwave had, and it's a, like crazy. a friend's fireworks actually played Soundwave and Marilyn Manson held a middle finger to Adam from Fireworks Face. That's so crazy. I can't imagine like meeting Marilyn Manson and having him not like, you know, like spit on you. I would hope yeah, he seriously. would. Right? If It'd he was weird nice, otherwise. It, yeah. In September we have Riot Fest Toronto and Riot Fest Chicago. And that's like Pretty much it for the front for like the shows front. We're playing um, with Circus Survive and local natives um, in August in Columbus, oh, yeah. and that'll be sick. Besides that, look out for some badass shit. That's that's pretty much it. I don't know. I can't say any more about it. But this year, I think we're gonna be able to spend uh, a larger time doing things on our like creative end. You know what I mean? Whereas usually. It's kind of up to other people. It's not contractual uh, stuff. Either. Yeah, it's all just we get to do a lot of things this year that we're calling a little bit of shots. We're calling the shots, and uh, I'm really excited. And I'm Nick from Citizen. I'm Jake from Citizen. Thanks for watching Under the Gun TV.